The first time you can start with uh, Houdini, when you open for the first time, you have this situation. In this situation, you can find the interface is very strange for the first impact. Maybe you, you think, oh my God, there is a lot of information here. But uh, for me, um, this kind of uh, interface, uh, usually I don't use that usually because uh, there is a very more information and I don't need the off this more information. Maybe I prefer customize my space for, because for my, my task. However, we can see how is work this uh, interface. Here we have the drop down menu with file, edit, render, and you can hide, for example, here. This is the classic menu with file where you can, you can find, for example, new, open, open recent, save, save as, etc. We can see. Maybe we can see this in uh, the next time. More interesting is this, this drop down menu. We have two drop down menu. Is one is uh, where is right build and one with uh, main. This is for circular. Uh, menu, circular menu, it's uh, the particle tools you can find inside uh, Houdini when you're working and uh, maybe I show you, uh, oh. I, I don't use, the, use, use that because uh, I don't love more it, but uh, I want to show you this. And this is for the desktop. What uh, the desktop in Houdini? The desktop is the layout of your interface, okay? You can find here more different layout. This is some is uh, personal, for example, this is Matt Evil. 01001 is my personal desktop. This desktop uh, is my personal, etc. Because maybe I need to switch from the different layout for working on some machine. And here you can see how to new desktop, save current desktop, etc. etc. Now I show you this. We can try with, for example, animate. What happens if I click on animate? It change, change, and uh, you can see change the viewport, change the timeline, and uh, some panels it's moved and maybe. You are confused now, but the first time you can see, hey, but where is all? And I can, for example, click on build and I come back on my default desktop. Also, we have the game, we have the image, we have the look develop, etc. etc. For example, modeling. You can see it's change also the interface. This uh, um, this kind of desktop is think for the different situation. For example, if you work for look develop, maybe you need uh, here the light, the camera, and uh, all tools for create the look develop. You need for the data tree, the parameters, the material, etc. Maybe if you work with terrain, you don't need the, the light, but need the tools for create the terrain. And this is a thing for create terrain. The build, build is very basic, okay? This desktop is saved inside the folder of uh, your system. When you started for the first time Udini, Udini is create one desk, one folder inside your document folder. In fact, inside the document folder, you can find Houdini and your version. If you jump inside, inside you find, for example, the asset store, the configuration, the desktop, the desktop. And you can find here is my uh, custom desktop I created. Okay. And so you can use that. Uh, when you, you can copy and maybe you can pass it on another workstation and you can uh, 
uh, and when you start, for example, Houdini for uh, in another web station for the first time, if is read this folder and find it, and you can uh, load this in your your layout also in the new in an, in, the, in another workstation. Okay, this is very comfortable. However, here you can find also another kind of uh, folder and some, for example, the maps map mapster master is uh, my I installed some tools, some free tools, the mops, and so maybe you can uh, see the difference folder here respect to your. But this is not more important now. Now is important is understand your preference user is uh, saved in documents in Houdini folder. Okay. Here you can find the shelf is a split in two big area. Here you can find the shelf for create, modify, models, polygons, for, for modeling, for create the formation, for example, the texturing, the rig, etc. And here this shelf is dedicated to effects. For example, you can find the light, the collision, the particles, the grains, the rigid body, the particle fluids, viscous, ocean, etc, etc, etc. This is the area, is the viewport, where is you can find one, the sheen viewport. You can find here your sheen, the 3D sheen, where you can move it for your, create the, your element, okay? Here you can see the another tab with, for example, the animator editor, is uh, you can call also the curve editor. The render view it's uh, the part where is uh, you create the render. You see your render. The composite view is for compositing, and the motion view is for create. For example, the motion graphic. You can see your motion graphic. Geometry spreadsheet is very interesting, but uh, I want to talk about this panel in another lesson. However, when I come back on the sheen view, you can find here the arrow. Okay, and now I talk about this in the second moment, because here you have the context. The context is like the room of the one house. Here you can find the view, the tools, you can say here now the view and this part of the interface is change every time you have the different tools you have selected. For example, if you have the, the box, you can find here the box and some tools or some information about the box. Here you can find the selection tools and transformation tools, the snap, the camera, the region, and this is the inspector, okay? And here you have two icons, is one for rendering, and one is the flipbook. Flipbook is like the Play Blast in another software like uh, uh, Maya, for example. Here you can find some tools for active or disable the some properties inside the viewport. For example, if I want to disable the grid I, or the construction plane, how is it called in Houdini, you can press on this icon, okay? And here you can find, for example, the name of your viewport, for example, perspective, or you can jump, for example, to top view, or front view, right view, UV map layout is called UV viewport, bottom, back and left. Also, you can press the number one or pad one in your keyboard. Or for example, you can press the two or spacebar three, you can see is front, spacebar two is uh, top, 
is four is right, five is layout, spacebar is one. Why spacebar? Because sometimes when you're working in the level, in the up level, in object level, maybe you can have some combination of keyboard is working on a shortcut like one, two, three. In the in other case, maybe it's not working. Okay. Here you have no camera, but you can create a new camera or you can use the, another camera if you don't have created in another way. Okay. This is say the viewport and this is say if you have a camera or if you are in camera, but we can see that in another moment. How to move in viewport? Press Alt key and hold down the hold the left mouse button. You can have the orbit, okay? With the scroll of your mouse in the your wheel, you have the zoom in, zoom out, or if you press Alt and the middle, so press the wheel, you have the pan in your viewport. With, with the right, press Alt and the right mouse button, you have the zoom in, zoom out, okay? But it's very comfortable after some practical you can find is working very, very fast. In this case, because I don't have anything, and I am in the level of object, if I press the left mouse button, you can see I move it like orbit with the, the scroll the wheel, have the zoom, and also if I click the right, the right mouse button, I have the zoom in, zoom out, and if I press the middle, I have the, the pan, okay? Now, if I create, for example, one object, and for create object, for example, I can choose the box here, and I need to choose where I can create the box. Now, if I press enter, it's created in the middle of my viewport, okay? In the middle of my construction plane. It's zero, 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 like the coordinate where is create my object. Now, if I try with the, the left mouse button, I don't have the orbit. I need to click on it. Alt and left mouse, okay, for create my orbit in Udini. This is more important. Usually in everything's 3D package, you can use Alt with uh, the mouse button for create the orbit or uh, the, um, the zoom in, zoom out or pan. Only in a soft image you use S, for example, for create this combination of uh, uh, move it inside your, the viewport. It's very uh, crazy, uh, but for example, I use it because I have the, all the licensee of uh, soft image and sometimes I use soft image because I need it for that. And we can see, we can take the opportunity when I create the box, I see here is change with the name geometry box and box with some change the menu respect before where is uh, I have only the, the viewport. Also I have here the handle and in the handle I have the, the this round is for rotate. Okay, is for move. And if I click on this, no, now this is okay, but uh, if I press E, I have this shape and I can scale, for example. If E in this handle, only the move it, and E is moved and, uh, and I can turn, I can move it around. For example, like rotate, okay, this is more, more comfortable. Another particular of this handle is uh, you can uh, use also that tools from here, or you can use 
scale, rotate and move it. And another particular is the handle is always local, local coordinate. If you click the right mouse button, you can align handle and you can have the object, the world. You can go to the world or for example, the view is depends on the view is always is depends. You can change and it's changed by the view your point of view and for example the parent is uh, connected to a parent for animation uh, you can change also with the hot key with m you can press m m m you can change okay usually i use uh, with the object or with the world okay i can select and delete here I have the parameters. The parameters is the panel where is, uh, you can find all parameters when you have the selected node in your network view. The network view is this. This is the network view where is create the all nodes inside your uh, shin of uh, uh, Udini. When you work, you, you work here and you see here the result. And this is the timeline, the time rulers with the play blast, with the, um, the classic tools for uh, check for control the animation with play, stop, etc. etc. You can also uh, start the animation with the arrow from the keyboard, the keyboard, but we can see in the next time. More interesting is this kind of of tools here this you can find here you have the automatic key the real time and more important here have the global animation uh, setting the global animation setting uh, Udini is work with uh, 24 fps by default you can change you can maybe 25 or 20 can change it if you need for work but also this we can see with the practical example here I have the auto update or manual or on mouse up this is when uh, you create some effects you maybe you need to uh, create the auto update is very uh, slow because take more time for update the viewport so you can choose the manual and you can able here this uh, symbol, this icon. And when you can uh, want to update, you can check, click here. Maybe also this we can see with uh, a little example.